Hey, it's me, Jet, and welcome to Baron Breakfast. What happened to my hand? Ah, uh, that is a very good question. I fell over and I cut the crap out of my hand. So now there's a very deep wound in my hand and I am taking very good care of it. Oh, this is cute. Oh my lord, I love this. I love how he walks. He's so like, uh, uh, it's mama bear. I'm up, I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Whoa. I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Oh, well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking like... No, where is Arnie? Uh, Arnie? Annie. Oh, in a room with Will. Probably I should go wake him up. All right. Hey, good. Mm, get out. Oh, morning. <laughs> out. That's not very good morning of you. <laughs> What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes? Actually, Mum said we should might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes of mushrooms. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. I need- that's, there's no hunting. There's just going and getting my- you know, I'm, I'm actually kind of- can we like- Look, I'm enjoying the conversations as much as everyone else, but can we like get- get on with it? Thank you. I would like to actually play the video game, not just press the space button and read. Tire screech? Was in the what? I heard it too. We better go. But we haven't found the thing for mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where the sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom's in straight back. Let's go. She also said, get some, uh, gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. Timber Crossing. Little Rebel, don't listen to your mom. What? How was I supposed to listen to my mom? I didn't have a choice. I guess I could have gone back, but, like, why? What are you guys doing over here? I like the idea that bears are just, like, unironically just, just, just sentient. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Finn, this ain't Finn. This is Yogscast Bedger, all right? We all know who it is. You there, fine gentleman on uh, the orange coat. I'm pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next mi minor share in the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not any major, but I do like sharing. Oh, uh, this bear is adorable. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. <laughs> How exactly are you talking? Porn Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. What the? I like how his brain is just like surrounded in math right now. Offering secured to touristy adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think he ever had to begin with. <laughs> Bring in your old useless priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you one to three day all exclusive voucher for a vacation of a lifetime. Bon Voyage is a lookout for a brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? <laughs> Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at all the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. <laughs> Why is that so real? Don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, with my full understanding of things and spoil sports cheerful attitude, I am cheerful. <laughs> I just don't care for him, that's all. <laughs> we stand to make a boatload of cash. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what you just I love you, Hank. <laughs> it's the broken down shed that all abandoned anyway. Alright, who knows anything about human houses? We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't Oh my god, can, right, can I skip this? Thank you. Ah, here he is, Mr. Tony. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got a help? Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's a shark in Timber Crossing. Oh, uh, oh, a red, red fluffy. He says he brings the human from the valley. Oh, well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you could- Don't care, Tony! Just give me the fucking sauce! Tony! Yes, all of this is wonderful. And they're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do noisily. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the widow brought- No, 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 I don't care. Let me build. We're playing Sims, but we are a bear. Great, now we're all in the old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need somewhere to make it work. The table next to the tree, hang. Get some wood and put it back together. Hell yeah. Yeah, confirm. Wow. Did you get the workbench fixed? Like brand spanking new. Exactly, it's good. Enough. Oh. Oh. Don't, don't you talk to him that way. How dare you? Oh, wait, I can- how many people do you think I could fit in this this place? Like, I mean, to be fair, how much space do they need, realistically? Do you think they need space? Do you think pe do people need space? Because realistically, all they need is a bed. That's probably as big as you could possibly need it. Because that's enough space to get in the bed and out of the bed. You don't need more than that. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. We're not going to build this place for making it comfy and cozy. We're going to go on the idea of we want people to be as boxed in as possible when they come here. All right, now let's get one step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having some, someone around that they can look down on. So we're going to make them feel welcome by putting it down a little table in the front of the house that lets tells them where to go. And a little back bullet to the teacher. Okay, fair enough. 
So we got to make a reception area. There you go. So now we have this many rooms. I like it. We've got three rooms. But I kind of want to set it up so we can set up rooms on the other side as well. Because there you go. Now we can have just a hallway, right? I'm just going to shove as many people in here as I physically can, all right? So that's... Let's just uh, put this... And we'll put it as left as part, like, humanly possible. Sharky, we're done. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Okay, yeah, press screen button. Congratulations, your premium property now listed on the network. I I, I agree with the mother. You can now start earning hardly life changing income. Simply accept your first guest with the front desk and give them an experience of a lifetime. Let's go and do it. Uh, details. Empty. Guest request. Accept. You can be inside in bedroom one. Enjoy. He arrives tomorrow. A few moments later. Whoa well, there, Biff. Where did you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? All right, enough with the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, mug. I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel distinguished. You stumbled across the most handsome career of this crap since the side of the valley. There's one thing this animal that I can flip them back at. Great. Let me just look at the dumpster. Not so fast, but how do I know I can trust you? My um, authoritative height? Oh, that's adorable. Point. But you gotta improve before I can tell you anything. I'll tell you what. There's a busty pocket across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack, then we can have a talk. Okay, sure. I, I feel like this is just a needless quest for no reason. But sure, I'll do it. Why not? I'm confused as where it's like... Does it want me to go here? Oh, sure. <laughs> I just took that person's sludge. Yeah, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, we call mustard. That's all I could find. Mmm, just like mommy used to make. All right. You're British charmer. I'll let you buy myself a little whatever. Let me buy from you. We got old drawers. I don't really want drawers. I don't even want nightstands to be honest. Like, is there something I can put on the walls? I'd put some paintings up, you know? Maybe maybe a rug or two. Uh, maybe maybe a welcome mat so they feel lovely when they come in. Uh, maybe maybe a small old light, you know? That's all we really need. I don't think we need much else. I don't really want to put anything else down because again, we want max occupancy. We don't care about how they feel. We care about how I feel. We're going to put this welcome mat here because I want the welcome mat at the front. We're then going to put this small bear painting uh, in here. I think I've done my best here. Anyway, I'm going to sleep in the middle of the road. Tomorrow. Uh, we got to put something down. Oh, man, he likes the room. Look at that. He loved the room. Let's go do this quest. Congratulations. You increased your property value by a quarter of a percent. That is, that is the 278 more than our guests receive on their average trip. Most prestigious properties will earn... <laughs> um, that's great. So we're going to be used to just being shoved in the back there. That makes my life easier. Complete the stay for at least one more guest. And Yeah, sure. I mean, one more guest is fine. Guest request. Sure, you can come. I don't even care where you go. Just come. All right, now we can go sign another person in. Don't be scared. I'm just, I'm the manager. Anyway, assigned. So now people are going to come and visit my bear and breakfast. I hope they pay. Because if they don't pay, I will find them. And I will eat their entire family. Because believe it or not, I may be a cute bear, but I'm a bear nonetheless. I'm having so much fun now. Max occupancy, let's go. I'm going to fit as many people in here as like, is the fire standard. I don't care. Can I still get through? Uh, no, I cannot. That's kind of a hazard, probably, but that's okay. Because I'm just gonna put it against the wall. They can probably get through now, right? Let's have a look. No, they can get past. Well, the thing is, I don't need to get in there. Think about it. And I can still reach this. <laughs> Congratulations, you met an absolute bare minimum requirements. Oh, wow. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in the year of 10, you might be... Wow. Amazing. Wait, we're gone? What happened? Where'd he go? We're just gonna call it there, uh, gamers. And because of that, we are now going to basically just exit out of the game and i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna say i love you all so very much i hope you enjoyed bear and breakfast this was a very wholesome game and i had a lot of fun playing it shout out to the patreons models bubble doodle bomb bean and the anxiety ranger chaz like the video if you liked it dislike the video if you disliked it subscribe to the bold joy jettos jesters today leave a comment to share what you want to say go to my patreon to support me in a giant way join the live streams on youtube and twitch so you can watch me play but as you usual, make sure all of you have a good rest of your day.